So today we are going to test fit because the powder clone shop I just went to, it's 4 p.m. Friday and they closed it when I arrived around 4 p.m. So I just got home, now it's 5 p.m. I guess give me a chance to see if I want to powder coat everything black. And uh, this is a chance for me to do it. Now, we are going to try the island packy ones first, the duck tail. Because I think the duck tail will actually look good without painting, with it just aluminum and leave the duck tail by itself. Three bolts, three nut, three bolts, three nut, three system. Oh, see if the camera can see the nut. Kind of. Okay, let's get it. Slightly over here. Slightly over there. Okay. This one. How stupid does this look? That's a giant duck tail. It's hilarious. Let's get on the front. Oh, fuck, that broke my head. But that looks insane. So I think the duck tail version of it, this, maybe just leave it rot middle and only powder coat it to clear. What do you think? I think just raw metal looks really good. So I ordered a Max, as you guys can see, it's against the light, it's a Maxi 2K clear. You have to break this thing to make the, the spray, the automotive paint. So this will go on this four brackets. And this is the style for the duck tail. Uh, it's not going to be black. I think the uh, rod middle looks better. Even though the brace on the bolting was very tight, uh, I think most of you would like to see both and I have the other brackets in black. And this one, I just decided to go rod middle. Uh, about 52, uh, 53 to 47 percent in the black or raw middle. So this will be the only raw middle one, and the other one's black because black is really thick. So I'm going to mix this up and spray it. Four coats, and keep it nice and clean so it won't oxidize. Okay, I guess you're supposed to flip this upside down. This little red cap here, from the front, pull the cap off, and just press it. Okay, two minutes. Let's spray it.
Find out. So from what I look. Coats. It looks like it's pretty thick. I touched one of them, it, it was very deep. So, uh, got yeah, two coats. But the can will go to the waist if I didn't use all that. Maybe I just keep a very deep coat. Yeah, let me do one more coat. Just use off the can. Otherwise, it's just gonna go to waste. Because this has a catalyst in it, so you have to use it up. Okay, I think that's it. See if I can find under the sun. It doesn't turn yellow. Well, the sun's yellow. But it's actually fairly clear on this one though. It's pretty good. Yeah. This face can, can hit a little more, I think. Yeah. Let's call it a day. We're gonna hit a little more right here. And... Just got this uh, hole from the outside. After 16 hours, on the 2K Automotive Clear Coat Spray, it's gorgeous. This clear coat is, the finish is amazing. On the raw metal, it's like automotive clear, clear coat. But well, it is automotive clear coat. But there's no sag. There's no oversprayed looking thing like a normal. There's no blotch. So the $20 of this uh, clear coat can. It's really worth it. Look at that. So I actually put my fingernail. I was trying to touch this while it's wet. And I spray over it. And I should blend together much better. It was fairly deep. So this is about five to six coats of clear. On the rock metal. Yeah. So basically aluminum oxidized really quick and turned into dull color. I roughly polished this. And I think this is the Pertina finish I want. So it's not super polished, mirror finish, but it's still kind of brushy. Little feel, also slightly polished with a high gloss clear coat. So as for the dry time, uh, I tested it out a few times, that's why I got a fingernail in it. It dries within, semi-dry, within uh, 15 minutes, okay? It's a lot like automotive paint, which it is. But you don't want to touch it, because you can still apply the second coat after 15 minutes, 10 minutes, but it's still kind of wet a little bit, so it's semi-dry. So it's about five to six layers I put it on. The clear coat I put on this. Um, so after three hours, I get my little fingernail here. I put it pretty deep stuff, so I touch it up a little bit. It when it creates a, a dip, it fills in. The liquid still fills in when you spray it over. It's fairly cool. But at this stage, when I can touch it and do this, it won't scratch it. Um, but next morning, so I would say 18 hours, just hung on the hook outside, uh, dry air. So 18 hours I will wait minimum, at least, before you grab it and touch it. If you put that many coats, it's pretty thick, but now it, I believe the coat has dried and cured. And um, it got a lot thinner after it's dried. So 18 hours. And I'm going to wait for another 24 hours before I mount this on the car. Because of all the screws. I don't want to screw damage the clear coat too much when it's still kind of soft. But it is 2K, so the hardener in there will accelerate to a super hard. And it is really cool. 